Hey guys, what I have here today is a, it's a little fidget or everyday carry spinner. And what it is, it's a little thing you can sit at your desk and play with and it won't annoy the people around you because it's absolutely silent. Uh, this is pretty much intended for the type of people that uh, need to be spinning their pens or clicking their pens all the time, which can be loud and annoying. And uh, this gives you something that you can uh, work with your hands. Some, uh, some nervous people like this, some ADHD type people like this. Uh, it's huge in the everyday carry community right now. Um, there's a bunch of designs like the Torque Bar by Scam Designs and then a bunch of these little 3D printed spinners. And all it is is um, a couple skateboard bearings and then a little bit of a 3D printed part. So in this video I'll walk you through the design process for my spinners and uh, here you can see a, a couple of the ones I've designed so far. So let's take a look at the design process. Ready, go. Alright, I want to do a quick little rundown of my print settings here in Cura. I'm using a WANHOW Duplicator i3, so that's what my print settings are going to be optimized for. So here in quality, we have the layer height of 0.2 millimeters. Um, 0.3 millimeters is a low quality, and 0.1 millimeters is a high quality. So 0.2 is a, it's in the middle, it's a, it's a medium quality. I have issues with layer separation at 0.3 millimeters, so that's why I chose 0.2. It doesn't have to be super high detail. Uh, this is just a little tactile toy. Shell thickness, um, I have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, as you can see down here at the bottom. Um, each shell is going to be 0.4 millimeters wide. So a 0.8 millimeter shell is going to be two perimeters. So the more shells you put on it, it's going to be able to give you a stronger part that requires less infill. So two perimeters should be good for this print. Uh, this will give you the top and bottom thickness for the print too. Um, fill density of 15%. Usually 20% um, is about average for my prints. 15% is absolutely fine. There's not a whole lot of stuff that requires infill on this print, just um, these little sections between the bearings. Print speed of 50 millimeters per second seems to work fine for me. I think I did that to avoid uh, like echoes or reverb in the print. Uh, 210 degrees Celsius for my PLA plastic. That's uh, a little higher than I actually get out of the printer. Um, I have some issues with the temperature drop. So I put it in at 210 degrees and then my printer generally runs about 195, 197, something like that. And I have a heated bed and I'm going to keep that at 60 degrees. Uh, support type, no supports required for this print. There's really no uh, overhangs 
And then the platform adhesion type, definitely make sure you leave this at none because if you do a skirt, you're gonna have to cut the skirt off, or brim rather, and it's gonna look all uh, chewed up. So just leave that at none. All right, uh, let's slap this on an SD card and get it printing. All right, this print only took about 20 minutes. I've been printing on my glass bed with hairspray, which is amazing. It gives this perfect glass smooth finish on the bottom of the piece. Now all I need to do is slap four skateboard bearings in here and it is ready to go. And of course, here we have the finished product, just like you saw at the very beginning of this video. If any of you guys build one of these, uh, I'd highly re recommend twisting it back and forth like that. You can feel the gyroscopic forces in effect. The STL files will be available on Thingiverse. I'll have a link down in the description, and you are more than welcome to print off your own for your own personal use. As long as you're not selling them, I'm totally fine with you, you using them. So thanks for taking an interest in my video. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you back next time. Hey out there, if any of you guys make music and you want to get more exposure for said music, I like to take drone videos and I love to put it over neat uh, sort of ambient music backgrounds. So if you are interested in doing a collaboration, please shoot me a message, leave a comment or something, and maybe we can help each other out. Hope you enjoyed the videos and have a great day. Bye.